Good morning. Today is day 14 of uh, the daily tutorial. And uh, today I will uh, do some more work on the background. And I will add uh, some gray tones to the background. Because um, I think um, the colors need to be toned down a little bit more. So the, the forefront, the, the leaves and the branches and the flowers will be more prominent. So we are going to do that now. I am starting with the cold grey number two. And I start very carefully because I don't want to spoil anything. We are having a beautiful morning here in the Netherlands. The last couple of days uh, have been with a lot of uh, rain and snow. Unfortunately, where, uh, where I live, it was too uh, warm for the snow to, uh, uh, to not melt, so it was snowing. But the streets were just wet. In the other parts of the country uh, they had beautiful uh, snow because it was colder over there. But after a couple of days of grey skies and a lot of uh, rain, this morning the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I am uh, early coloring this day. Normally I color in the afternoon. But now it is um, 9 a.m. I, I guess. Maybe you can hear some uh, some birds singing in the background. I opened uh, the window a little bit to hear it. I love a bird song. So I'm just coloring this gray tone here and there. Now this will be the first time that I am uh, uh, using an, another brand of pencil. I have one, uh, uh, what is it, Karandash, that is the brand. Karandash, here it is. This is a Karandash luminance pencil. It's a white one. And this will be the first time that I will actually use it in a drawing because I want to tone the colors down a little bit um, I can use this pencil pretty well because if I would put a light gray on top of this yellow area this yellow area would uh, lose its its color too much but when I put a white on top of it the yellow will stay yellow the effect is very subtle, but it is enough for me um, just to, to push 
uh, the background a little bit more to the background. I do have a white uh, polychromos pencil as well, but that one is not very opaque. And opaque means, um, for the people who don't know, opaque means that it covers the layers uh, below, so it, you cannot see through it. And this white pencil is a little bit more opaque. Um, so it, it actually tones down the yellow. That is what I'm looking for. I can also use this white uh, on top of the other colors, the blues. Any color. Now there are also colored, colored pencils with a white tip that are actually not white pencils, but they are called burnishers. And the burnisher, um, as far as I know, they are always we for waxed based pencils. Burnishers are wax pencils without any color in it. So what you only see is the wax. And you can do certain uh, nice uh, things with it, but it actually does not uh, leave a lot of white color. It just blends the, the colors you already put on the paper. I have a blender, a burnisher, but uh, actually I've never used it. It makes your um, drawing look very shiny. Now if you like that, then uh, you can use it, but I prefer a matte uh, look. Look here, you can see very well what this white is doing. It is just toning down. Now I won't tone down everything, maybe in the end, but at this point I will leave some colors untouched as well, some areas. Now this luminance pencil, this white one, it is a waxed based pencil. The polychromos that I am using for this um, drawing are oil based, but these uh, luminance pencils and polychromos go very well together. Many professional artists use them uh, mixed, so that's nice. So let's now take a step back and see what, uh, what the effect is. I, uh, I think this is going well, so I will do some more areas with uh, the white pencil, especially the, the yellow and pink areas. I won't use a lot of white here because I there is so much white paper still visible that I think this this area first needs a little bit more color before I put it uh, I put the white pencil uh, 
I cover it with that. So I will leave this area. can be that you may not even see um, a lot of uh, difference between the areas that I I color with uh, with these white pencils and the areas that I leave alone but that has to do with the camera then because I can see it is a subtle difference but it certainly is is there and it is important to push the the background truly <clears throat> excuse me truly to the background Yesterday uh, I was coloring and drawing, I did some sketching and um, I thought I have 75 polychromos pencils and that is enough. But when I was coloring yesterday I came to, to, to the conclusion that I need some more I um, I have been drawing a birdhouse yesterday and uh, there is a wooden birdhouse it's a wooden birdhouse so I had to uh, to color wood colors and of course I'm using browns and grays and a little bit of black and some greens. But uh, I'm pretty sure that I need to, uh, to go shopping uh, because I was looking for a warm gray pencil which I didn't have. I do have warm grays, but they are all the lighter colors, and I needed a darker warm gray. They look a little bit like brown, warm grays, but it's just more gray than brown. And they uh, work pretty well for making uh, wood look more natural because wood isn't really there are so many colors in a wooden uh, well, whether it's it's a structure or a tree or a branch or whatever
So let's see, this is the result so far. This, um, this is good, this looks really good. I am now going to add a little more of a little bit of gray in uh, some areas to see what uh, that will be doing. I would love to um, make this background look like uh, a misty morning when the when the sun is about to uh, to break the mist. Um, at this point, I have no idea if I can actually uh, make it look like that, but that is the intention. Now at this point, uh, in this uh, phase of the uh, of the drawing, I uh, I need to put a, a little bit more pressure on my pencil. I still do that very carefully, but the areas where um, there have been a lot of layers of colors put on yet. I uh, I can feel that uh, it becomes harder to uh, to put the color on paper. So then you need to to add a little bit more pressure, but be careful. Too much pressure can really ruin your uh, your drawing it's a matter of practice uh, because um, at a certain point you uh, you will feel uh, intuitively how how much pressure you can uh, put on the paper A sharp point helps too at this in this phase when you are putting the first layers on paper it a, a blunt uh, pencil really doesn't matter that much but um, further in the process and when you have to draw some detail a sharp point uh, really helps.
Okay, I added some uh, darker gray in some areas and uh, although it is working I will have to be very careful that I won't uh, that this background uh, will not uh, turn out to be a thunderstorm. So I will have to be very careful with this dark, darker gray. But I will add a little bit more here and there. Sometimes I do have an idea for a drawing and then it turns out completely different. So I have to have, keep an open mind to this. Although I want this, uh, this, uh, the, the sun come shining through the mist. Maybe this drawing wants something else. So I'll keep an open mind. But be very careful not do too much Now I will go back to this area where I added uh, some grey and um, let's see what the magic uh, the white uh, luminance pencil can do. Just a slight touch. And this won't look like a thunderstorm uh, anymore. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to add a little more, bit more um, yellow. And uh, I use this one, green. The way I uh, color backgrounds is uh, actually con a constant adding more color, toning down again, adding more color, toning down again, until I find uh, the right balance. Now, for doing that, you need pencils that can layer very well, because if they don't layer very well, I cannot put so many layers on top of each other and this whole process just won't work. But I absolutely love this process.
I'm now adding more yellow because I want to uh, to have more paper covered. There are a lot of areas that have not been covered with color yet. And at this point it is okay to do that because I want I now know where I want to go. So I will now add a little bit more pink and I will use a slightly darker pencil than I used before for the background. This uh, is Rose Carmine. And uh, now this is a very dominant color, so now at this point I use a light touch again. I've uh, made uh, an, uh, a downloadable version of this drawing. I only need to do some um, fixing of the image because it is... Uh, my scanner is not, uh, not so good. So if I scan the drawing it doesn't look very... Uh, It, it looks a bit smudgy. So I, as, uh, as soon as I have that fixed, I hope uh, I hope tomorrow, then I will put it online and you can download it and uh, well, you can print it and uh, see see if you can. Uh, you can follow the uh, the entire daily tutorial. It would be best if you download it. We of then you you will probably print it just on a regular printing paper, and that has a very little tooth. So you can uh, you could try to uh, uh, either. Uh, Try if your printer uh, digests uh, a sheet of, uh, of drawing paper, that might work. And there are also techniques to, uh, to duplicate your, the drawing on a sheet of drawing paper. Oh, I, <laughs> I am drawing, uh, I was drawing where you cannot see it, I'm sorry. So here you are again. I'm just adding pink with a light touch. So now
I just found out that I can make pictures while recording a video. Didn't know that. So I just uh, pushed the, the wrong button and I made a I made a picture. Yeah. So let's uh, see um, what the results are so far. Every time I add a warmer tone to the background, I feel that that is really helping the, um, the drawing to come together. Now there are some areas uh, of pink that need some working, as for example this. These three blobs of pink they look like a triangle, looks very unnatural, so I need to do something about it. And there are more areas I need to, uh, to fix, but, uh, well, that it's not a big problem, it's fixable. And, uh, for example, over here, there's a strong line between the blue and the, uh, the pink area that looks it should be more, um, that should flow more, it should blend more. So, uh, more work needs to be done. I see you tomorrow. Bye bye.